everyone, you're watching The Esperanza 243. You're watching my book reading project of The Westing Game, part 21. Alright, I believe in part 20, me oh my, <laughs> we covered a lot of stuff. Um, so... I'm not really going to mention all that happened, because I think I got to read at least three chapters. Um, or at least two and a half. Ah, so I'll just talk about uh, where I ended it, where I ended the video. Uh, we got to... We got to watch Theo and Doug spy on Otis Amber. Uh, they followed him to the soup kitchen. And so th when Theo came back, uh, there was a fourth bomb, which was in the elevator. And Turtle decided to join in with him when the bomb went off, mainly so that she would get caught d doing uh, setting the bomb off. Because she didn't want anyone else to know, besides Sidel, since she was in the room with them. Um, Turtle had realized her sister was the one who did the bombs. Pretty, pretty intense. And so Turtle talked to Judge Ford. Judge learned that... She and Doug were there the night uh, they found, the night uh, before everyone found out that Westing was dead. Uh, Turtle and Doug had gone to the house. Turtle only went inside, um, and she told the judge about his body looking like a wax dummy. And it made the judge realize that it might have been a real wax dummy and not Sam Westing. So she believes Sam Westing is still alive out there. Which I find quite possible. But it's not probable. Is that what I'm trying to say here? I'm trying to make sure you guys have an open mind to this because... This is a whole, in this particular part of the book, this is where you got to have an open mind to what any, to what anything can happen, you know. So you got to make sure you know what's going on, you understand what's going on. That's why I keep, at the beginning of every video, video that's why I keep telling you guys, you know, what's been going on so you, so you can understand, you know. And I'm over my time. i got to get to the reading. Um, let me just mention what the, the very last thing that, in the book that I read, um, Turtle asks for bourbon on a cot on a cotton ball so she can, so it'll somewhat soothe the toothache she has. She bumped into uh, Sandy. Sandy convinces her to meet his dentist because he realized, whoo, what a deep cavity she has. And that's where we are, or at least the part of it. The next part is something different. Try not to stick your fanny out so far, Angela said from her chair. Now that Sidel Pulaski depended on crutches, she lurched clumsily, hobbled by old habits. Just keep reading those clues, the secretary straightened, shoulders back, stomach in until her next step. With, her te with their telephone switched off and contagious disease added to the no visitors sign, the bomb victims had privacy at last. Sidel had twice read the entire will aloud. Now Angela, her hands unbandaged, was reshuffling the collected clues. Grains. Spacious. Grace. Hood. Good. With beautiful majesties from thy 
purple waves on no mountain. Again, Sadell ordered. Change them around and read either the word on or the word no. Both together are confusing. Good, spacious, grains, with, grace, on, thy, purple, mountain, hood, waves, from, majesties, beautiful. Shh! Someone was at the door. Angela picked up the note that was slipped underneath. My darling Angela, I guess the sign on the door means I should stay away too. I understand. We both need time to think things over. I'll wait. I love you, Denton. What does it say? What does it say? Sidel pressed, but Angela read only the postscript aloud. P.S. You have another admirer. Chris wants to give you and Miss Pulaski one of our clues. Flora Bombach has seen it too. The word is plain. Like an airplane? Sidel asked. No, plain. Like ordinary. Like the wide open plains. Plains? Grains? Quick, Angela, read the clues again. Good. Hood. From. Spacious. Plain. Grains. On. With. Beautiful. Waves. Grace. Thy. Purple. Mountain. Majesties. That's it, Angela. We got it. We got it. Sidel could barely con control her excitement. The will said, sing in praise of this generous land. The will said, may God thy gold refine. America, Angela, America. Purple Mountain Majesties, Angela. Whoopee! Fortunately, Sidel Pulaski was close to the bed when she threw her crutches in the air. Chapter 22 Losers, Winners Saturday morning, a new message was posted in the elevator. I, Turtle Wexler, confess to those four bombs. I'm sorry, it was a dumb thing to do and I won't do it again. But I am not the burglar and I never murdered anybody, ever. Your friend, Turtle. P.S. To make up for scaring you, I will treat everybody here to an exquisite Chinese cuisine dinner when I win the inheritance. Jeez, she's that confident. <laughs> Poor Grace, Mr. Hu said. One daughter almost killed, the other one a bomber. Smart Alec kid, first she blows up my kitchen, then she advertises my cuisine. Win the, in win the inheritance. Ha! Ah! Maybe I'm lucky my son is a dumb jock. Boom, Madame Hu said happily. She knew where they were going. Always on the day when Doug ate six eggs for breakfast, he ran around and around a big track, and people clapped and gave him a shiny medal. Doug was so proud of his medals. She would never take them, not even the gold one. Not even if it took her two more years to pay to go to to go back to China. She's the thief. Of course, I'm saying that, not the book. Er, well, no, she would never take Doug's medals, and she would never sell that wonderful clock with the mouse who wears gloves and points to the time. You must be out of your mind, Jake Wexler. Go to a track meet with all those people pointing at me, snickering, saying, Look, there she is, the mother of Cain and Abel. I'm not even sure I have the nerve to show my face at the Westinghouse tonight. Come on, Grace, it'll do you good. The podiatrist urged his reluctant wife down the third floor hall. Stop thinking about yourself for a change. Think of how poor Turtle must feel. Don't ever mention that child to me again. Not after what she did to Angela. I never told you this, Jake, but I've always had a sinking sensation that the hospital mixed up the babies when Turtle was born.
More like Turtle got her father's brains. It's no wonder she wanted to blow us all up. Grace's dis despair exploded in anger. Oh, I get it. You're putting the blame on me. If you had given her a good talking to about kicking people when I asked, she might have she might not have ended up a common criminal. Whatever became of that fun loving woman I married? What was her name? Gracie Windclopple? Grace quickly looked around to see if anyone had overheard that ugly name. But they were in the elevator, alone. Oh, I know what people think, she complained. Poor Jake Wexler. Good guy, everybody's friend, married to that uppity would-be decorator. Well, Angela's not going to have to scrimp and to save and save to make ends meet. She's going to marry a real doctor. I'll see to that. Sure you will, Grace. You'll see that Angela doesn't marry a loser like her father. A real doctor, she says. A podiatrist is a real doctor. Well, it is... Well, it is these days, but when he went to school, it was different. He could have gone back, taken more courses, but he was married by then, a father. Oh, who's he kidding? Gracie's right. He is a loser. Next, she'll mention having to give up her family because she married a Jew. No, she never brings that up. Grace, with all her faults, would never do that. The elevator door opened to the lobby. Grace turned to her silent, sad-eyed husband, the loser. Oh, Jake, what's happening to us? What's happening to me? Maybe they're right. Maybe I'm not a nice person. Jake pressed the, the closed-door button and took his sobbing wife into his arms. It's all right, Gracie. We're going home. The doors opened on the second floor. Mom, what's the matter with her, Daddy? She's crying. Gee, Mom, I'm sorry. It was just a few fireworks. If her mother ever found out who the real bomber was, she'd really go to pieces. Turtle looked even more like a turtle today, with her sad little face peering out of the kerchief tied under her small chin. Let go of the door, Turtle, Jake said, and have a good time with the track meets. You too, Mrs. Bombach. Track meets? They weren't going to a track meet. And they sure were not going to have a good time. Grace was still sobbing on Jake's shoulder as he led her into their apartment. Mother, what's the matter? What's wrong with her, Dad? Nothing, Angela. Your mother's just having a good cry. Why don't you and Miss Pulaski leave us alone for a while? Come, Angela, Sidel said, prodding her with the tip of one of her mismatched crutches. We have some paintings to do. Angela looked back at the embracing couple. Her father's face was buried in her weeping mother's tussled hair. They had not asked how she got home from the hospital by taxi. They had not asked if she was still in pain. Not much. They had not even peeked under the bandage to see if a scar was forming on her cheek. There was. Angela was on her own. Well, that's what she wanted, wasn't it? Yes, yes it was. She uttered a short laugh, and her hand flew up to the pain in her face. Do I look funny or something? No, I wasn't laughing at you, Sadal. I never laugh at you. It's just that suddenly everything seems all right. It's all right, all right, her partner replied, unlocking the four locks on her apartment door. Tonight's the night we're going to win it all. Were they? They they will said look for a name. They had a song, not a name. A beautiful for spacious skies. For purple waves of green. Sidel began to sing. Not purple. Angela corrected her. Amber. For amber waves of green. Amber! Judge Ford paced the floor. T tonight, Sam Westing would wreck his revenge unless she could prevent it. If she was right, the person in danger was the former Mrs. Westing, 
And if Churchill was right about the wax dummy, Sam Westing himself might be there to watch the fun. Oh, if only she knew. <laughs> I'm going to start there before I spoil everything. So the next video we will learn about all kinds of stuff. Because this will be at the Westing house. The Westing mansion. <laughs> so exciting. Alright, so... um. I will see you guys later in the next video, part 21, or 22, part 22. This is the Esperanza 2.3, signing out.